It's your local government at work. Live from City Hall in downtown Warren, this is the Warren City Council meeting on SelineRiverChronicle.com. Second to approve the lease with Callaway Oil Company. Any discussion? 
Okay, none. All those in favor, raise your hand. I see six forward, none against. Police chief called in sick a little bit ago, so uh, um, you have his report. And he left word with me that he was uh, actually looking, uh, they had done, start, they have started background checks on two of three people that have uh, applied. So we're making some progress. Mayor. Sir. I was going to ask the chief, and so I'll ask you. You have the other hand. I hear the number 13, 13 officers. It's a full force, but sometime in the past, they've only had 12 for money reasons. And we've only funded 12 positions. Funded, okay. But the 12, does that include the chief and the Don and, and uh, it includes Don and Sean. Don and Sean in that twelve. Yes. Okay. Now, so how many do we have now? Uh, uh, how many officers do we have? You know, from regular now. Seven. And then it would take three to fill it up to ten. That's that's what that's what I wanted. Is what was a kind of update on how many we were trying to use uh, some part. They have approved hiring a part-time officer just to try to help fill in, and, 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 and in addition, he swapped everybody to twelve-hour shifts. Right, I understood that from last week. Come on, but I just so actually we got three slots. We, <laughs> trying to fill as <coughs> <fill, coughs> quick as we can. Okay, that includes Thank Sergeant Ashcraft. Yes, she's still on the administrative leave. Well, that's one of the three that's... Yeah, the prosecuting attorney has not returned, has <laughs> not uh, made a decision on that case. So if she came back on board, if then she did, be, then we're still too short. You'd be... No, you'd still be... She's included in, in the, the seven. seven. Oh, okay, okay. I thought that. And that is administrative leave with pay? Yes. Alderman Fulton, you recognize? No business. Fire Chief. You have his monthly report in your packet. We just recently uh, finished sending some people to here. Uh, the fire academy came down here and taught a CTO class, um, certified training officer, and we then saw the short handed on that. And we had to keep one in our department to teach uh, general classes, the ones we can teach, like the volunteers come in. New, then you got to send them through three courses, so we we're able to teach that here as they come in. So we just got uh, four people certified, so that's going to help us out. But keep things rolling. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Thank you. All right, Mike. Sanitation manager Mike May. <laughs> you have his report, uh, financial report in there. Any questions for Mr. May? Yes, sir. <coughs> on the motor recognized. Mike, I saw you yesterday. I saw your sign on the cardboard cage. Mm -hmm. No 
Coke boxes, beer boxes, cereal boxes, <clears throat> or anything. Those boxes actually have a, like a wax coating. I think it went on down no wax. Slick, slick paper. Yeah, we, we can't recycle that. No, in cardboard. In cardboard. This was on the right. cardboard yeah. cage. Um, but it just it saves us some time <coughs> if uh, the consumer will pre-sort it before we get it, so we don't have to sort it as much. We still sort everything that comes through our department. Uh, it just uh, takes a little bit longer the more volume of type part that we have to pull out. And we end up throwing it in the landfill anyway. Okay, so we were already sorting this wax we finish sort card every day. I knew um, the sign was asked to be placed there by the director of the uh, recycle uh, uh, because it it's getting to where we're spending a whole lot of time sorting Sort. out there. Uh, okay. We used to not get that much. Uh, but people are really starting to get more conscious about what they're doing as far as recycling and they're bringing it to us. Unfortunately, we can't use that type of material, so it still ends up going well, in the landfill. Well, that has been an issue as the news in the newspaper bin, as magazine, far as magazine, magazine slick, <laughs> slick paper, that whoever we're selling it to, they, they, they don't take it, so it's got to be sorted. We now, do. now the, the, the I didn't know you were already sorting the boxes. Yeah, yeah we sort yeah. everything. We well. sort everything. And there's just one man that does it. Of course, we utilize uh, uh, our old finds through the police department uh, quite a bit, and we usually end up having one to two people work <coughs> two or three days a week. Uh, working off their fines and different things like that. So we, we try to incorporate as much help as we can from that as we can get them. Uh, but, uh, well, I didn't know we were already sorting out that wax finished boxes. And I, I was thinking now we're going to have a, another cut in what we could sell. No, no, we, we've been doing that for years. And then did, at, in years past, Getting back to the newspaper, I know I've started off on the cardboard, but that, on the newspaper, uh, it, it, sometime in the past, I was thinking that uh, whoever we're selling the newspaper <coughs> to would accept a certain percentage of the slip paper. They, 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 they still do that, or mm -hmm. are they gone to no slip paper? No, it's it's a certain percentage, but it's a minute percentage. I'm not exactly sure well, what it, it is, but it's like 3% to 4% somewhere in that neighborhood. So it's pretty slim. Cool. Cool. In other words, you can you can sort and miss a few items, and they're not going to keep the whole mail out. But uh, we still have to sort. So what this new sign <coughs> does and the other, we're not looking at a tremendous cut in what these people will buy. No. That's what they've been and buying. The sign has always been there, to my understanding. It was a handwritten sign mm -hmm. uh, on a piece of pasteboard. Mm -hmm. We just we had the sign professionally done. Is the only reason why it's more noticeable now, I guess. Well, it's still a sign I saw still handwritten. Nothing, oh, nothing against, well, against we it. We had a professional sign it. made also <laughs> and put on the fence. Now, but, somebody might have gotten it. But, but anyway, I, I just thought, well, here's another, you know, the slick paper. Now, here's another lick. Maybe we need to look at somebody that can accept more. No, they start to be so picky picky on the, it's the what they'll recycle. I don't understand. Uh, are you, about slick paper, are you talking about things like catalogs? They catalogs, won't. any kind of printed paper that's a slick finish <laughs> paper. They won't uh, pay? You can't, the fibers are too fine from what I understand. It, it turns into a mush in the sludge tanks that they, that when they recycle paper, they put it in this sludge tank and it breaks the fibers back down. And if they're not large enough fibers, they can't remake it into paper again. It just turns to a mush. So I've been sending you thousands magazines of and things like that. It's a very expensive paper, and I wish somebody would figure out a way to do something with it. But right now, they, you can't turn it back into paper. Okay, the type so of paper just, that these people just throw it away. We, we put it in the landfill. I know. I can see them very virtuous to send them to you. I'm, I'm repeating, but I just thought this other cardboard cut. Now we're hitting a notice. 
you know, maybe we need to find somebody that can handle <coughs> I brought up sort of cardboard as well as typical cardboard because but if you say we already been Yeah, we've been so there's years. not there's not anybody out there that will take it. Because you've been sorting it out anyway. Most of the cardboard we get are packaged material cardboard and, and uh, um, I guess lately there's been a more influx of the type of cardboard that we don't accept, so we're yeah. starting to get a little more of it now. Well, the box out there in there was not slick. Sanitation you, Committee, Alderman Mosley, you're recognized. Uh, the Sanitation Committee doesn't have any business at this time, Mayor. Building official, Mr. May. Y'all have the building report in front of you. <coughs> Any questions for the building official concerning the monthly report? <coughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Under street committee, <coughs> on the Birch is recognized. I have no business. No business. Community and Economic Development, Alderman Tofre is recognized. Doesn't this stand? Ways and Means Committee, Alderman Henderson. Looks like you have five items. <laughs> The Ways and Needs Committee uh, do have five items listed on the agenda, but before we go into um, asking the council to consider adopting, I'd just like to uh, give a uh, very short overview. As I previously reported that our committee met on three occasions, our most recent meeting was December the 27th, and the purpose of the meeting was a continuation of the proposed uh, budget and to look at requests that were submitted to uh, this particular committee, your Ways and Needs Committee. Uh, very, very tough budgeting process. Uh, money is tight, 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 tight. Um, the committee did review all requests uh, the current uh, two major contracts that we do have in place, uh, the Chamber of Commerce and the BC, BCEDC, uh, did both request uh, raises or additional funds. Um, after reviewing the budget, the, the committee uh, could not see how that could possibly uh, happen. So we are recommending and we'll be asking you to adopt the current contracts for the Chamber and BCEDC as previously uh, in the previous year, which was uh, this year, 2012. Uh, top priority is the shooting range. This is something that our citizens feel very strong about and so does the uh, Ways and Means Committee and uh, City Council members. You have voiced that opinion. Uh, as well. Paving is another issue that we feel very strong about and our citizens uh, would like to see. So uh, $75,000 uh, has been uh, put in that uh, line item for uh, street paving. And the project that we have at our beautiful city park that we get a lot of praise about uh, continuing putting up uh, the lights that have actually gone out or been destroyed by uh, individuals that uh, actually utilize the, uh, the city park. 1% increase for uh, city employees. We would have liked to have seen a 2%, uh, but uh, again, money tight, 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 and uh, that it, it just was not there. Uh, but we were fortunate uh, to have the 1% uh, the uh, increase. There were uh, requests by the uh, department heads uh, and other individuals or groups that uh, would like to see the city, uh, I guess, maybe contract uh, with them. Listed on our agenda, we have the and you do have the documents uh, in your packet to adopt the ordinance setting the 2013 uh, budget. The second one is the uh, 
ordinance to adopt setting the official salary for 2013 and the BCEDC contract, the Chamber of Commerce contract, and the Arkansas Municipal League uh, programs. Now, in your packet, you will find the Arkansas Municipal League statement. We have not been uh, participating in the uh, CDL uh, drug testing, so <coughs> the amount that uh, we will be making the motion for would be the $14,000. $867.41 and not the grand total that you see at the bottom of your page of the $16,068.01. Are there any questions? You mentioned about uh, $70,000 being in the... $75,000 being in the uh, street. And, uh, you know, you look at the situation all over Warren, is you know and i understand it's it's real tight but uh you're talking about maybe one or two at least three streets um, with the growing need that we have as far as street improvement and did we go back might and i address and, uh, that did we no have, no oh, go ahead you did okay. it correctly <laughs> might i address that all on burke sure uh if you in the budget that we sent you under contract construction for street expenditures, street fund expenditures, under contract construction, we have uh, planned to spend $205,000 on streets. The $75,000 Dorothy is talking about is a deposit from the Economic Development Fund into the street fund to contribute to that $205,000 street construction. That is a, what we felt like money was available in the economic development to put in the street fund. It's a direct deposit in the street fund. And then the rest of the money will come from uh, the turn back and, that you'll get and the increase that we'll get from the one cent sales tax that was passed by the uh, Arkansas voters in November. That kicks in in uh, July. <laughs> so we will get a portion. They, uh, The figures have been bandied about on how much Warren would get out of that one cent sales tax. The closest I can come is maybe 80,000. They promised 120. I'm just guesstimating low. So I put in a half a year uh, in that figure. But all those figures together, the economic development fund, the turn back, and then the new one cent sales tax, We'll give you uh, your committee about two hundred and five thousand to spend on streets, which is about fifty thousand more than you spent this year. Uh, it, it's going to be well. It'll help. It, it'll help. But, um, uh, it's a great need out there all over. Well, I don't think anybody uh, disagrees with you on that, Zach. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, what decides or who determines whether the BCDC contract and Chamber of Commerce contract are fulfilled? This this governing body. <coughs> Any other questions? Alderman Henderson, the ordinance number will be on the first one will be eight seven one. That's adopted in the budget. Eight seven one. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> I know that we place ordinance number eight seven one on its first reading. Second. I have a motion and a second to place ordinance 871 on this first reading. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor raise your hand. Ordinance 871. An ordinance adopting a budget for the city of Warren, Arkansas for the calendar year 2013 budget and for other purposes. Whereas the mayor has submitted to the city council for approval or disapproval a proposed budget for the city of Warren, Arkansas for the calendar year 2013. Whereas the following budget has been approved by a majority of the members of the city council at a meeting called for this purpose. Whereas said budget is now on file in the office of the city clerk and shall be available for public inspection during regular business hours. Now therefore be it ordained by the city council of Warren, Arkansas, section 1 that the following budget for the operation of the City of Warren, Arkansas for the calendar year 2013 be in the same is hereby approved and funds and set amounts are hereby appropriated for said purposes and accounts during the year 2013 from time to time as needed. 
A detailed budget document shall be available in the office of the city clerk for public inspection during regular business hours. Under non-restricted expenditures, administration $252,902, law enforcement $993,505, fire $218,584, sanitation $551,184, building codes $45,651, District Court 81,805, Municipal Building 26,826, Recreation 144,048, Cultural Center 33,500, the Armory Neighborhood Center 15,100, and other 112,500. Total general non restricted expenditures $2,475,605. Under restricted expenditures, the street department, 524,317 for a total of 524,317 under restricted. In other accounts, transfers out of the county sales and use tax to the general account is 510,000. Transferred out of the city sales and use tax to the sales tax economic development, 301,450. To general, 402,175 and to the street, 50,000. Transfer out of sales tax economic <coughs> development to general zero. Transfers out of city one direct deposit state funds to city sales and use tax $753,625. To general $100,000. To county sales and use tax $510,000. To lofty disbursements $15,000. To municipal court cost funds $8,000. CAD grant, emergency service center $67,422. Breathalyzer $500. Sales tax economic development, $121,400. Sales tax economic development to the BCEDC, $98,000. Sales tax development to the intermodal, $40,000. Sales tax economic development to the street, $75,000. City sales and use tax, zero. Court automated fund, $1,500. Law enforcement rescue fund, $3,000. The sidewalk grant from the highway department, $165,000. The water drainage project, <clears throat> that's on George Street, $584,132. Water and sewer on the bypass, $1,466,000. On the shooting range, $152,000. Total other, $5,356,782 for a total budget of $8,356,704. This ordinance shall be effective on the first day of January 13, so the timely payment of obligations of the City of Warren may be made, and the same being necessary for the maintenance of good credit for the City of Warren, and their emergency is hereby declared to exist. I know that we're suspending the rules in place. Ordinance number 871 on this second reading. Second. Motion and a second to suspend the rules in place. Ordinance 871 on the second reading. Any discussion? Here, no. Wait, was, this, was this in the... Uh, did you say about the economic development? Is it the sub raise is in here? I'm mean, not going to say raise, but uh, that budget is in here? Yes. Okay. So there was no raise for that? No. What was the increase on that? For me? There was no increase on to, to uh, either the chamber or the BE, BC, EDC. It remained the same. The figure in the and what I just read in the ordinance includes the payment on spec building. That's why it's Caddy Wampus to you. Okay, well, I, I, the reason why I asked that was just because I noticed that uh, uh, Ms. Lawhorn has been doing a good job in terms of trying to uh, recruit industry to come here. And I just, you know, if there's any way that could be possible, if that's any need for it. Um, well, the discussion in the committee was, uh, but certainly we recognize need, and, and the budget is so tight that we felt like there was no need to increase funding for that particular organization. Partly because they have uh, a pretty good amount of money already in their sales tax economic development account that came from the city. The money that we pay into their account, they have on in their financials already. Uh, over $30,000 of sales tax money that has not been expended. Plus they have about a $9,000 surplus this year of money we've given them that they have not spent. So 
uh, for their increase, they can draw it down out of the existing money they have in hand. Okay, it I, just I, makes I sense. Was, I wasn't aware of that. I mean, I just, you know. Well, that's, that's what the thing came what, in. The job that she's doing and what the, she's trying well, to do. Well, I appreciate what she's doing. doing but but that's all I'm This was no reflection on her performance. Oh, no, this no, no, no. I'm just saying. You know, yeah, issue. I understand. But I'm just saying, you know, any effort that can bring jobs this, this way, then. No question about that. They enhance more. Yeah. Okay. Any, any more discussion? I believe we're on the second reading and there's motion in the second. All those in favor, raise your hand. The rules are suspended and it's placed on its second reading. Ordinance 871, an ordinance adopting a budget for the city of Warren, Arkansas for the calendar year 2013 budget for other persons. I move that we suspend the rules and place ordinance number 871 on its third and final reading. Second. We have a motion to second to place ordinance 871 on its third and final reading. Any discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. I see six, four, none again. I didn't vote for him, Mayor. Oh, I I'm hadn't sorry. voted for either, either one of these motions. I'm sorry. Would you reflect it? Uh, and are you voting against him? Yes. We're voting uh, five, four, and one again. And on so all of them. On exactly. all of them. I vote on I apologize, Joel. I was. Not watching closely enough. Okay, now we have. Uh, I need to read it. An ordinance adopting a budget for the city of Warren, Arkansas, for the county year 2013 budget for other persons. I move that we adopt ordinance number 871. Second. Motion is second to adopt ordinance 871. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. I see. 4-4, four, four, and all those against the budget, two against it. The budget is adopted, and we will be able to pay our bills again in the first of the year. I know that we adopt the emergency clause. Second. A motion is second to adopt the emergency clause. Any discussion? Hear none, all those in favor, raise your hand. I see 4-4, four, four, and those against, two against. All right. The next item listed on the agenda is to adopt the ordinance setting the official salaries for 2013. The ordinance 872. I move that we place ordinance number 872 on its first reading. Second. Motion is second to place ordinance 872 on its first reading. Any discussion? All those in favor, raise your hand. I see five, four, all those against, one against. Ordinance 872 is appropriation ordinance. An ordinance fixing and appropriating the salaries for various officials for the year 2013 for other purposes. Be it ordained by the City Council of City of Warren, Arkansas, Section 1 for the year 2013, the Mayor of Warren shall receive a salary of $39,744.48 payable in equal monthly installments, section two for the year 2013, the city clerk shall receive a salary of $31,280.16, payable in equal monthly installments. Section three for the year 2013, the city treasurer shall receive a salary of $10,898.88, payable in equal monthly installments. Section four for the year 2013, the city attorney, including all assistant city attorneys, shall receive a total salary for the office of $16,387.92, payable in equal monthly installments. Section 5 for the year 2013, the Alderman of Warren, Arkansas, shall receive a salary of $3,000, payable in equal monthly installments. Section 6, if any section or part of the section of this ordinance of, or the application thereof to any person or circumstance is held to be unconstitutional, or invalid, such invalidity shall not affect the remaining provisions of the application thereof of this ordinance, and to that end, the provisions of this ordinance are declared to be severable. Section 7, all ordinances and part of ordinances in conflict herein are hereby repealed to the extent of any such conflict. Section 8, the emergency clause. The City Council of Warren, Arkansas, has determined that the retention of experienced and knowledgeable city employees and officials is necessary to the efficient operation of the city's business and to the maintenance of the peace, safety, and welfare of the residents of the city, and that adequate compensation is a necessary part of the retention of the said personnel and officials. And to that end, an emergency is hereby declared to exist, and the provision of this appropriate appropriation order shall be in full force and effect from its after its passage of approval. 
Move that we suspend the rules and place the ordinance number 872 on its second reading. Second. Motion and a second to place the ordinance 872 on the second reading. Any discussion? All those in favor, raise your hand. I see five for those against. One against. Ordinance 872, an ordinance fixing and appropriating the salaries for various city officials for the year 2013 and for other persons. I move that we suspend the rules and place ordinance number 872 on this third and final reading. Second. Motion is second to place ordinance 872 on this third and final reading. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. I see five, four, and those against? Going against. Ordinance 872, an appropriation ordinance, an ordinance fixing and appropriating the salaries for various city officials for the year 2013 and for other persons. I move that we adopt ordinance number 872. Second. I have a motion and second to adopt ordinance 872. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. I see five, four, those against, one against. I move that we adopt the emergency clause. Second. Motion and a second to adopt the emergency clause. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor adopt the emergency clause, raise your hand. I see five, four, and those against, one against. The next item listed is the VC EBC contract. And you do have that uh, in your packet. And I move that we uh, approve the contract as presented. Second. Motion is second to approve the contract as presented. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. I see five, four, those against. One against. The next item is the Chamber of Commerce contract. I move that we approve that contract as presented. Second. Motion is second to approve the contract as presented. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. I see five, four, and those against. And then the last item that we have listed is the Arkansas Municipal League um, programs that we participate in, and I move that we continue with the Municipal League in the amount of $14,867.41. Second. Motion and a second to pay the municipal league for their per capita fee and the legal defense program. Any discussion? All those in favor, raise your hand. I see six for none against. That ends the business of the Ways and Means Committee, and I would like to thank the members of the City Council. Thank you, ma'am. And the committee. Reports and boards of commissions, the planning commission was no meeting, the aviation commission there was no meeting, the airport project has been completed and uh, uh, the final inspection has been done. Right. <clears throat> We've paid all the bills on the airport construction up to date. Water and Sewer Commission, you do have their minutes of their meeting and their balance sheet. <laughs> In the Parks and Rec, there's no report. Housing Authority, there's no meeting. Cultural Center, you do have that report in your packet. And a no business. 11 public statements. Yes. On the signs coming in the one for the two representatives from the football team? We're looking at putting three logos on it. The Lumberjacks, the Razorbacks, and the Blackings. And they're needing a copy sent by PDF file of the Lumberjack logo. And I'm thinking maybe I can extract that from somebody at the school. On Greg Child, you need to have Junior added to his name because his dad is a senior. Thank you. His family said. What was the third one? Lumberjacks, Razorbacks, and what? Minnesota Vikings. We've gotten two logos in. We're having a little trouble getting the Lumberjack logo <laughs> on the PDF file. I'm going to sign the former mayor Warren that project, <laughs> or his son, or any of that kind of thing. It's not on the school website? Maybe. 
That's a good idea. Anyway, I think it is. That's what the hold up is. Uh, boom, I got lost. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Twelve A. No business announcements. Any announcements? I have an announcement. Yes, sir. You know, too many times uh, we blame kids, I guess, for not being successful in life. And we don't very well put into our minds that special education means gifted and talented, as well as the other side of the spectrum. And during my son's third grade year, we was called in for a consultation to put him in special ed, and he wasn't gifted and talented. Thing. So we went and did examinations and tutorings and took him to Little Rock for a whole two years on Saturdays to special tutorings. And on this Friday, a special ed student will be receiving his Bachelor's of Science degree in Regulatory Sciences, and then he will go to work on January the 8th for the USDA. So a lot of times we place the blame just solely on the teachers, where sometimes I think the parents had to do follow-up and use other sources of working with their kids because everybody doesn't sit in a square box. And not and all the parents are as supportive. <coughs> well, we should be, because yeah. the kids but didn't ask to come in the world. And if, I, if it wasn't against the city's ordinance, I would be given a reception on Friday evening, but since I can't, I just scratched it and tried to do something at my house, and hopefully I don't get called in for an ordinance of being too loud. But everybody's well. Because it's one proud day, and I think it's worth going to jail for. Congratulations. I think that's wonderful. I'm going. Any other announcements? Need a motion to pay the bill. I move so, that we pay the bills. Second. Motion to say to pay the bill. All those in favor, raise your hand. Keep the city going. Five, four. Those against, paying the bills. One against, paying the folks that we owe. The motion carries. The meeting is uh, January the 14th. We ain't doing nothing we said we're going to do. We're going to combine the We need a motion to adjourn. We need to adjourn. I'm just going to be around the line. We're going to ask them to size where they go through the contract.